What's up everyone and welcome to my 12th episode in the Pokemon Revolution Online Guide. Uh, this is going to be my second to last episode in the Kanto region. Today I'm going to be showing you uh, the bike path that leads down to Fuchsia City because we are going to Cinnabar Island now to get our 7th badge. Um, the bike path gets unlocked once you do buy your bike so hopefully by now you've watched my videos and you've uh, obtained your bike. Which, if you didn't get it in the first dig route, you should have got close enough to farm it up. There's, you know, you, you'll get your bike. So, there's some guards that were supposed to be posted up right there. You just need to talk to them. And again, if you followed my, my guide this far, you'll be able to talk to those guards and get rid of them. I don't know which badge you specifically need for it, but you have it. If, if you've been following my guide. So, the uh, bike path is right here. It actually starts the fly quest. And there's a ton of trainers right here. There's four, five, six, seven, eight. Um... The fly HM or whatever does not work. You can't use fly. There's three more trainers and an item that I missed. Another trainer. And more trainers. There's a few trainers down this path I've already done. Um, for the sake of time. But from now on I will be showing a lot of the important uh, battles and stuff like that. So, uh, But fly does not work out of combat. It only works inside combat. So it's kind of like dig. You, if you have a fast Pokemon, you fly up in the air beforehand. And you don't have to deal with any attacks. And you fly down and hit it with an attack. But I feel like dig is not a more effective uh, move than fly. As far as like getting your, your Pokemon out of the battle for one move. So once you come down here to Fuchsia. Which we've taken care of already. You just gotta come down here to the water where you were uh, sailing, or not sailing, but surfing around to the, the trainers, hopefully, that you did before Sabrina. Pretty sure that's Fuchsia, Sabrina. And uh, these trainers down here you should have already done, hopefully, before Sabrina. Because they will boost you up where you need to be. Man, this is ridiculous. Now... As I progress through this last badge, uh, these last two badges, I will be evolving my Pokemon. Now, I know the entire time I've been saying, do not evolve your Pokemon, do not evolve your Pokemon. Well, now's getting about the time that you want to evolve your Pokemon. Um, around 75, 80, if you get that high up there, you're going to want to start evolving them then. I mean, it, it all depends you know if you really want to stay in Kanto for a long time you don't want to jump straight into Johto I'd recommend not evolving it until like 99 or something so that you can have an easy you know it's easy as possible to get to level 100 with that Pokemon and then you get it you evolve it at once it's level 100 you can use rare candies to level it uh, rare candies that uh, I would just recommend stopping at 98 or 99, whichever, however many evolved forms it has in front of it. So, just be wary of that. But anyway, you sail over here to the Seafoam Islands, and this is actually where Articuno is. I'm uh, not going to show you guys the inside of this place because it's just kind of an extra area. It's not, it, it not mandatory to do any of this. Not any of it. You do have to walk through it, but you don't have to go through it. You don't have to go find Articuno or anything like that, so I'm just going to walk straight through it, pick up this item, and I'm not going to explore it. It's not to the storyline. You don't have to do anything for it. It's it's just extra stuff. You can't catch any of the legendary birds either, so Articuno is just down there. You can kill it for like, I think it's like 100,000 experience or 10,000 experience or something. I don't know. I think it's probably like 100,000, yeah. So it's a pretty good chunk of experience, but uh I hope you guys have been watching the videos on EV training, and uh, I'm going to post a new video before I go to Johto on EV training and show you guys specific areas on where you can get, like, just find a bunch of Pokemon with health, uh, EVs, and uh, attack IVs and stuff like that. That one's gonna actually going to take me a little bit to make. I'll make that after the Elite Four slash uh, Eighth Badge video, but... Right now, we're just going to try to take care of Cinnabar, which shouldn't be too hard. The puzzle is really easy. It's, you know, it's not very, very minuscule compared to some of the Team Rocket ones in Celadon. And uh, even uh, in uh, Saffron, it was this. It was longer than this puzzle. So once you just walk through the Seafoam Islands, you don't go through any levels or anything. You just walk straight through it. Uh, you sail through here and come up. There's more trainers up here. There was a trainer outside. There's a trainer right there. Uh, if you sail up here, there's a few more trainers. I keep saying sail. I mean surf. Uh, there's a few trainers here, here. There's one right down there. You see her. 
And those are all your trainers. The last set of trainers you'll be able to obtain are on the other side of Seafoam Island. Uh, it'll be if you want to sail up to Pallet Town from there, which is what you will be doing in the next video after you take on uh, Cin uh, Cinnabar. So, what you want to do is you first want to come up here and talk to this guy. He says there's a key hidden inside, and this is the quote-unquote quest to uh, to unlock the fire gem, which this is no quest. So you just need to come up to the second level and wrap around right here. There should be another set of stairs. Get out of here, Grammar. Don't don't walk up the set of stairs that's right there in front of you. That just leads you up to a little empty room. I think there might be a trainer in there. I'm not sure. But I'm just going to get the storyline done here. I do encourage you to, to uh, search on this third floor a lot, though, because Magmore does spawn, I think, daytime. And nighttime he spawns in uh, the basement. But he's extremely rare, so have fun with that. Anyway, you come up these stairs over here, and you see the other stairs right there lead to an enclosed room you can't get out of. Man, there is just so many Pokemon battles. Uh, the trainer I'm about to walk into is really simple. He has like five Magikarps and then a Gyarados, and none of them are even anything to say anything about. They're all just trash, so it's really easy. Now, this doorway down here, these are all actually individual doors, so there's one, two, three, four, five doors. Uh, you have to be sure you're on this line where I'm going to line up with not this line Not this line, but this line right here. You need to be on this one and walk oh, Well, okay, but you need to walk into the door right there or you're gonna get teleported to the wrong spot You have to be aligned right here on this corner and then boom perfect got the key You also get all of the items that they were gonna give you on the other doors right here if you come up here, it drops you, the other ones drop you around these other items, which you can just obtain as soon as you get the key, so it's really just a waste of time. But that's why you're watching a guide, you don't want to sit here for hours, <laughs> right? Oh man, so many Poke Battles in here. I wish I had some repels and it would make this go a lot quicker as far as the Poke- Ooh, Solar Beam. That is awesome. Ooh, a Growlithe, yay. So yeah, I'd be training up your Growlithe. Uh, you see I have my Magikarp now. I've been training him up with Tackle. Uh, this trainer right here, he has a Magnemite, a Magna... Ton or whatever the hell, the three, and then Magna Zone. It was crazy, but Squirtle handled it like a champ. All the electric Pokemon, Squirtle just like, nope, not handling this. Not having it. So... I don't know why I killed that Rattata, but it, it deserved it. So this is how you get out without an escape rope. You gotta come up these stairs right here, and then... Uh, another Poke Battle. So you gotta wrap around right here, and come down to this doorway, and it takes you right out of the place. And you have your key. Now you can spend some time in there, train up a little bit, you know, do whatever you want. I'm just gonna go straight to the gym and show you how it's done. As long as your Squirtle is along the lines of mine, and it's been, you know, it's it's one of your pretty good Pokemon you've been using a lot, he's hopefully going to be able to sweep this. We'll see. Well, I'm going to definitely show Blaine's battle. That's, uh, that's going to be an important one. And from now on, I'll be showing uh, gem battles, just so you guys can see a strategy of what I do. I didn't really think of that the first time through, but... I could release the gym battles all in one video for Kanto to to remake that or to fix that mistake while I uh, start making Johto. Man, Corsilia, get out of here. Carsola or Corsol, I don't know. It's gonna take a lot of research for me to get into Johto because I've only really known Kanto for. I mean, like I know Kanto by heart, but Johto really irked me and so did Hoenn so it'll all be an adventure see this guy was easy I swept him with with surf I just surfed everybody here I think that she should do should just be able to surf your way to victory yeah so far so good just surfing and now but soon it's very soon I will be evolving uh, my Pokemon
all of them actually not just it just depends on their level I really gotta work on my Growlithe he's gonna he's gonna be definitely worked on in victory road <sighs> no 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 Squirtle does not get to evolve he gets massive experience from this though so by the time we are done with this I'm gonna see if my ghastly does anything uh, my ghastly got wrecked pretty sure <laughs> ghastly was not a good idea all right, so you talk to these guys, you talk to Mew, and then you got to come down here, and there is another trainer. Actually, two trainers. That scientist-looking guy is the guy who I think he sells a TM, maybe I'm not sure. Uh, I don't think I'll check him. I was just seeing if he's a trainer. All right, so here's Guard Thomas. I'll show you guys Guard Thomas. Ooh, my War Turtle. I did just evolve War Turtle on the last fight, getting him ready for uh, Blaine. So he's missing a little bit of experience from leveling, but ooh, he's faster than Arcanite. That's good. Oh wow. Yeah. He's 78. Very nice. Well, that was easy peasy. I'm gonna heal him up full, and then we'll do Blaine. Let's see, uh, I'll just use a superhero. Alrighty, Blaine, it's time. Alrighty, so we're just gonna do as much flat out, ooh, extreme, okay. We're gonna do flat out as much damage as we can as fast as possible. I wish that would have one-shotted him. Now he's gonna get another extreme speed on me, okay. Hopefully your leftovers is on your War Turtle or your Squirtle or maybe even your Blastoise if you wanted to evolve him to Blastoise by now. I would recommend by 80 having him Blastoise. Uh, Rapidash. You know what? Rapidash. I got an idea. If you dig on Rapidash, she'll b bounce up in the air. She'll try to paralyze you, but she'll bounce, miss. You'll go second and boom. Wow. Okay, perfect strategy. Use dig on Rapidash. That will... Uh, get you the win. Rapidash was no match, did nothing. Okay, a Charizard. Now he's gonna try to like do a melee attack and War Turtle's got pretty high. Oh, he did scary fence. He reduced my speed. That's not good. That's really not good. Oh, he got to go first. Well, he got to go first last time. I guess he, they were going first anyway. Who cares? Alright, Ninetales. Yeah, War Turtle is just steamrolling here. I guess after this, he will be a Blastoise, 100%. He's ready for the Elite Four. He's going to take care of anything you need for the Elite Four right now. Just because you've allotted him all this experience through this guide. And Magmar. He's just going to sweep Blaine, just like that. We're going to sweep him under the rug like he was nothing. What a perfect fight. All right, that's massive amounts of experience. All right, yes, Blastoise. Hello, welcome to the team. So the next thing I'd probably evolve is my. Well, I need to work on my Ghastly a little bit more too. Everything needs a little bit more work, but I'll probably show you what level I evolved them at. It might be next video though. Now that uh. Blaine is done taken care of. <clears throat> so now you've got the seventh badge, the volcano badge. And one thing that this does allow you to do now is uh, if you've got any fossils from either digging, like the amber or the old amber is an, uh, an aerodactyl, or if you've got a helix or a dome fossil, which you did in the beginning of the game, you can just now bring them here and have them turned into uh, actual Pokemon. So. If you got anything like that, like the old amber or the heal, you do have a helix or a dome fossil. Um, no, I'm not gonna. No, no, we're gonna go do this really quick. So I actually got an extra helix fossil after picking up a helix fossil at Mount Moon. So I'm gonna go turn in two helix fossils and see if uh, the game will do anything for me. Give me anything good. But you come down to this guy, tell him uh, that you got the eighth badge now or seventh badge now, and he'll be like, okay, I'm out the way. And uh, what you do is you come up here and talk to this guy, and he'll give you a list of fossils to turn in. I have two helixes, so I'll turn those in. And there you go. They'll teleport to your Poké Center, and you can grab them on out of there and see how they are. 
I'm gonna go see if the game loves me. This should be interesting. I actually did get two decent aerodactyls on my other uh, save, so I'm kind of uh, excited. Let's see here. Ammonite, Ammonite, Ammonite. Uh, oh my, oh my god, this game hates me. <sighs> Jeez. Thanks for watching, everyone, and as always, I hope this helped you, and I hope you guys like this video. If you want to subscribe for more content, please do, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for all the support.